Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And this is my first ever everyday carry or everyday use type video. I'm a huge fan of watching these. And so I thought, hey, why not give it a shot and let the people know what I'm carrying around every day. Hey, real quick, taking a look at the analytics, I can see that only a small portion of you are actually subscribed to the channel. And well, I'm not above bribery, so here's the deal. I'm going to give away a $100 Amazon gift card to one of you down below in the comments. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and then comment down below something that you would use the $100 for. The winner will be announced on next Friday's video, so make sure you hurry, get subscribed, and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Now I'm going to start out with kind of the like super everyday stuff like my phone, wallet and keys. And then I'm going to expand a little bit to like if I'm going out with the family or going to scout like a new location to film at and a couple other just smaller around the office type items that aren't big enough for their own dedicated video, but kind of just want to show you because I think they're a little cool. All right, so might as well start what's already in the frame right now my watch. Probably no surprise here, I'm sporting an Apple Watch. This is the Apple Watch Series 5. Now when the first Apple Watch came out, I actually picked up the stainless steel with the, uh, what was it called, Milanese or something, uh, kind of magnetic, really nice uh, watch band. I worked at Apple at the time, so we got 50% off. That was the only reason I splurged on that one. But honestly, even besides the price, ever since then, I've been a huge fan of the aluminum watches because they're durable enough for me. I don't really bump in or scrape it too much. And it's a lot lighter weight. Currently, I'm just sporting the basic sport band, but Nomad actually recently came out with a new strap that I really like. It kind of looks like their take on the sporty everyday use sort of strap. All right, moving on to phones, I usually carry around both iPhone as well as an Android device which for the past while, uh, ever since I sent back the S21 Ultra with the beautiful matte black, I've been carrying around the OnePlus Nord N10 5G. Uh, it's a great little phone, very, very budget friendly and hope to replace this one in the next couple of days with what I'm sure you all can guess. But of course, my main device is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Absolutely love the squared off edges, the matte black finish, and yes, I am a caseless person. I don't like cases at all. And then on the back is my wallet. Moft actually sent me this when they came out with it towards the end of the year in early December, and I've been using it ever since. Um, and this thing has held up perfectly. Literally, this has been on the back of this phone. Um, one, I like it literally just because then the phone doesn't touch any surfaces. And so this has taken the brunt force of being on every surface and it's not even remotely coming apart in any way. It does have a good amount of strength, just like the Apple wallet. You can fit three cards in here. And what's nice is it does have a little pop out kickstand, uh, which magnetizes kind of like that. So now it can stand up both uh, vertically here, as well as you could put it on its side. It also can act a little bit like a pop socket. You can put kind of two fingers back through there. And again, you're not gonna wanna shake it around too much without holding the phone. Also flipping it down will give you easier access to your cards, but you can just uh, kind of fold back the front flap a little bit to grab uh, the cards off the top. There's no like quick access like on the Apple wallet and some others where there's like a hole in the back that you can like push up or anything. So you kind of just flick that back and pull out the card you want. It's pretty much only storing my Apple card, my main debit card and my ID. Now my keys here, uh, we just moved into a house so I haven't transferred the house key yet. Um, and then car keys don't really matter. But here I'm using the KeySmart. I've been using this the past couple of years. And this one does have the tile integration, which is nice. Tile is that like Bluetooth kind of awareness sensor to where if I leave these on the table and then me and my phone travel more than like 50 feet away, uh, it will send a notification to my phone saying like, hey, did you forget your keys? You can fit quite a few keys on here. There's a bunch of different spacers that you can take out and put back in. It's really nice because you basically just fold it out like a little switchblade here, and then you can tuck them all in. That way you don't have a ton of keys out loose, like I have this one here, um, and it will all kind of look 
nice and compact. So next up we have sunglasses. Now, usually I'm rocking my Ray-Bans, but uh, I've been a fan for the past year or two of these Bose frames, frames alto. There's a couple different shapes you can get, but you can tell on the size that they are thicker. If you have no idea what these are, these are actually speakers, which just sound incredible. And they're the kind that uh, the speakers back here, so they don't actually cover your ears. So I can hear it perfectly if I were to play something, but generally if anyone's more than a couple feet away from you and you're not completely blasting it, no one's really gonna hear it, but your ears are also free. So if you're riding a bike, walking, or just anywhere that you also need to hear your surroundings, these are incredible. It's a little bit of more of a niche market because of the next product we're gonna talk about, which of course is my AirPods Pro, because the biggest downside to this is the fact that if I'm you know, listening to music, it sounds all great, and then I walk inside, well, now I don't need the sunglasses, but maybe I still want to listen to music. So if you're, I don't know, driving for a long time, riding a motorcycle, riding a bike, um, maybe this will be more your jam since it won't fly out of your ears, but obviously for the most part, a lot of people have and like the AirPods Pro, and I'm a huge fan of all the Bluetooth headphones, these, fit in my ear the best. Uh, definitely love the transparency, the noise cancellation, and a lot of people apparently aren't a fan, but I love spatial audio. Now, currently I have this wrapped in a Nomad case and I love their cases. They're the kind of leather that age better. So as time goes on and they get more worn down, instead of becoming kind of crappier, they become more unique and have kind of this really nice texture to them. So I've been using this for the past, I don't know, year or so, and I absolutely love it. So next up, we're gonna focus on some office accessories. These were supplied by Grovemade. A uh, huge shout out to those guys for sending it my way and got three items here that I'm absolutely falling in love with. And the first one here is their task knife. I absolutely love uh, knives like this that are just really minimal and just beautifully crafted. And this thing is heavy. I know you can't tell in a video. iPhone 12 Pro Max, this, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but kind of along the same lines. Some sort of metal, I'm not gonna say the material. You can check all of this stuff out in the links in the description if you wanna learn more. Um, but one thing that I was kind of fooled on is the fact that it didn't come with any sort of sheath or case. So I literally keep it in the uh, foam kind of package kind of looks nice and it's got a nice little cut out on the back so I can just pop it out. But this actually isn't a razor sharp knife. This is intended for like opening boxes, letters, stuff like that. And so I can run my hand on here and it's not going to cut me. So while it's not a razor or anything, my little bit of feedback to Grove Made is I would love, at least as an optional add-on, some sort of case, cap, sheath, something uh, to cover it up because while this looks great by itself sitting on my desk, I usually, again, keep it in the pretty much protected shipping case because I got a toddler running around and yeah, he's definitely gonna hurt himself if he gets his hands on this. But besides that, it feels great in the hand and you guys are definitely gonna see this pretty much going forward for every unboxing video because uh, it's just, it's so pleasing to hold and use. Next up, we have MagSafe charger. So this again is made by Grove Made. This is the walnut version. They have a couple different colors and materials of woods here. Again, the weight. There are a lot of accessories that I've used over the years that have like weighted bottoms. So that way when you like put your phone on it or anything, it doesn't like slide around. This thing is heavy and it does have a nice little soft bottom and of course a little cable management thing to feed the MagSafe charger. Now what's nice is they have a little sticky pad on the back where the MagSafe charger actually goes. It definitely is pretty secure in there and I would have to really try to kind of wiggle it out in order for it to come loose. So that's really nice and it's definitely strong enough to basically act like your phone is nice and floating there. The back of it still actually is magnetic, so usually I just take the magnetic wallet and slide that right there. Very strongly magnetized as well. Um, and so this is a nice little setup that I have over next to my computer on my desk. And then the third and final thing from Grove made this, 
I challenged them on because I saw on their website that they sell pens. You see, 99% of the time, I am in favor of typing things out digitally. But every once in a while, if I can have a solid pen, solid piece of like paper, notebook, journal sort of thing, I am a fan of uh, writing things out. And so they sent over their Grove Made black pen. So just like everything else, they come with a bunch of different colors, uh, a couple different materials. I think there's like a titanium one, which is really cool. But I really love this uh, kind of matte black finish with the matte black base and walnut interior. Again, the weight of this, it's so heavy. It gives you kind of that peace of mind and looks really good uh, sitting there. It also comes with uh, three replaceable ink cartridges and you can of course buy these separately um, if you go through them pretty quickly. But you see, I wanted to challenge what they promised, which was that this was going to be the greatest pen that I've ever used. I barely have to uh, put down anything at all, but you can see I'll barely hold it. So it's incredibly smooth, but there's one more thing. This is what impressed me the most. If you haven't noticed already, I am a lefty, and that means I smear everything. But guess what? This thing, like, almost never smears. Sign real quick. Nothing. Do it on the table. Smiley face, scribbles. pushing like really hard. Doesn't smear at all. This by far is the greatest pen I've ever used in my life. I let my wife use it one time and she tried to steal it. Grove made, I may have to put in a order for a second one for her because she's gonna steal this one. All right, there's one more thing that I've been carrying around with me. Again, this isn't a super basic essential, but at any time I've gone anywhere for family stuff, or scouting new locations or just going to film some stuff. I've been carrying this around. You've seen it once thus far. This is the Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro and this you will see in an upcoming video, full in-depth review coming up uh, hopefully by the end of next week here. And if you've noticed, haven't rigged it up. There's no external accessories anywhere, just a lens, camera, CFast card, and a viewfinder. So if you're interested in seeing that, definitely get subscribed if you're not already. So I'm curious, what was your favorite item out of my everyday carry type stuff? And also let me know what your favorite item that you carry around on a daily basis is. Looking at the monitor, I just now realized that one of my Pavo tubes went out. Fun fact, these are on 15% and they've been going for over like 30 hours right now. Pretty impressive. Annoyed at the continuity. Don't know when that went out. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.